Ryzen 7000 didn't have the best of starts, right? The sales were overall poor and not meeting AMD's projections, mainly because, well, the CPUs were expensive, the new motherboards were expensive, and the DDR5 RAM is still very, very expensive, which led to almost immediate price cuts. While I say immediate, I was still one of those fools who decided to buy before the sale, so I guess the joke's on me. But even though Ryzen 7000 CPUs are now a better deal than ever before, that doesn't mean that the problems end there. Because when it comes to memory compatibility, while well, AMD's first attempt at DDR5 hasn't exactly gone to plan, with user reporting a lot of issues, myself included. Because pretty much ever since Ryzen 7000 came out, people online have been asking a lot of questions about what on earth is going on with the memory. Because even though the sweet spot for these CPUs is 6000MHz RAM, many people have been complaining about the memory not even being stable at that speed. And especially if you add in more sticks of RAM to your system, things can get very wacky very quickly. And I've experienced it firsthand because my PC with XMP on experienced some truly bizarre behaviour. Because if I turn on XMP, my PC does actually boot and runs absolutely fine. But then when I go to say shut it down for the day to then turn it on the next day, I will no longer be able to boot. But the weird thing is that you'd expect XMP issues to usually manifest themselves as some error in the BIOS, or maybe some debug LED or debug code on your motherboard. But no, 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 not here. Here, Windows takes the blow, as I get this scary screen telling me that the Windows kernel is damaged and needs repairing, and I'm not even able to get into safe mode or even the Windows recovery environment. But the issue is that the second I turn off XMP, Windows is absolutely fine again. And the thing is, I can then go back into BIOS, turn it on again, and as long as I don't restart my PC, it'll run completely fine. Where's the logic in that? Now, that kind of Windows side weirdness does suggest that a lot of this could be fixed with software and firmware. So, that's pretty good. What isn't good, however, is that the actual DDR5 controller on the Ryzen 7000 may also be part of the problem. Because according to early results, and even a lot of input from people in my comment section, AMD's first attempt at a DDR5 controller definitely hasn't gone the way they intended. And we're pretty much back at the situation we had with Ryzen 1000, remember those days? When if you just looked at your memory the wrong way, and all of a sudden it would no longer be compatible with your PC. So if you're planning on buying memory for Ryzen 7000, make sure to limit yourself to as few sticks as you need. And make sure to get a memory that's specifically rated for AMD's EXPO rather than XMP, if you see memory that has only one rating or the other. And while they recommended, 6000MHz speeds should be reached, if you're having issues with it, don't worry, just turn off XMP and enjoy your slightly slower computer until a brand new BIOS or Windows driver or whatever gets released that will address this problem. At least, let's hope they get released, because hope is pretty much all we have left at this point. But if you're still brave enough to buy some DDR5 memory after watching this video, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. And whilst they're here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Jason Rage, I love Ronyak, Bardos Roka, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down is you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.